Kia Ora, everyone. Let me tell you, Pearl Jam's concert in Auckland was something else. The energy, the atmosphere, and the sheer excitement were palpable from the moment you stepped into the venue. Before the music even started, something magical happened. The anticipation was building and you could feel the buzz in the air. The local IWI took the stage, bringing with them a sense of tradition and cultural pride. Their karanga echoed through the stadium, a hauntingly beautiful call that resonated with everyone present. It was a call of welcome, a powerful and moving sound. Then came the haka. The intensity and passion of the performance were awe-inspiring. The ground seemed to vibrate with their energy. It was incredible. The audience was captivated, their eyes glued to the stage. You could feel the history, the strength, and the spirit of Aotearoa welcoming Pearl Jam. It was a moment that transcended the usual concert experience. What a way to start a concert. The applause and cheers from the crowd were deafening. You could feel the excitement in the air. It was electric, and everyone was buzzing with anticipation. Everyone was ready for Pearl Jam. Fans held up signs, their faces lit up with joy and excitement. The band members themselves seemed genuinely moved by the welcome. Their smiles and expressions showed their appreciation. They looked out at the crowd with respect and appreciation. It was clear that this was a special moment for them as well. It was a beautiful moment of cultural exchange. The blending of music and tradition created a unique and unforgettable experience. It set the tone for a night of unity and incredible music. The connection between the band and the audience was palpable. The energy in the stadium was electric. Hands were raised and the excitement was contagious. The crowd roared as the lights dimmed and the iconic Pearl Jam symbol lit up the stage. The anticipation reached its peak. It was finally time, the moment everyone had been waiting for. This was more than just a concert. It was a celebration of music, culture, and unity. This was a special event. The band's performance was electrifying and the crowd was fully immersed in the experience. The IWI welcome made it clear that this was a shared experience, a celebration of music and culture. It was a night where everyone came together. And let me tell you, Pearl Jam did not disappoint. Their energy, passion, and connection with the audience made it a night to remember. The opening chords of Given to Fly filled the stadium. The crowd went absolutely wild. It was like the energy of the entire day was released in that one moment. Everyone was singing along, Hands were waving in the air. You could feel the music vibrating through your whole body. Eddie Vedder's voice was incredible. He sounded just like he does on the recordings, maybe even better. His voice soared over the music. He poured his heart and soul into every word. You could tell he was feeding off the energy of the crowd. The band was on fire that night. Mike McCready's guitar riffs were electrifying. Stone Gossard's rhythm guitar was rock solid. Jeff Ament on bass and Matt Cameron on drums kept the groove going all night long. They were tight, they were powerful, and they were having a blast. That opening song set the bar high for the rest of the night. But let me tell you, Pearl Jam didn't just meet that bar, they blew it away. Now let's talk about Eddie Vedder for a minute. That man is a rock star. He's got this incredible stage presence, he's intense, he's charismatic, and he connects with the audience on a whole other level. He wasn't just singing the songs, he was living them. He was feeling every word, you could see it in his eyes, in the way he moved, in the way he interacted with the band. He was sharing a part of himself with every note, and between songs he was so funny. He told stories, he made jokes, he even talked about how much he loved New Zealand. He was like a friend, hanging out with thousands of his closest pals. He even took a moment to acknowledge the Iowese welcome. He said it was an honor to be welcomed so warmly to Aotearoa. He talked about the importance of respecting and learning from different cultures. He came across as genuine and humble, which just made everyone love him even more. The setlist was a perfect mix of old favorites and some newer songs. They played all the hits. Jeremy, Black, Alive, Daughter, they were all there. And the crowd sang along to every word, it was like a giant karaoke night with thousands of your closest friends. But it wasn't just about the big hits, they also played some deeper cuts, some songs that only the die-hard fans would know. And you know what? Those were some of the best moments of the night. You could see the excitement on the faces of the people in the crowd who knew those songs. It was like they were sharing a secret with the band. It was a special connection, a shared history between Pearl Jam and their fans. That's the thing about Pearl Jam, 
They're not just a band, they're a community. They've created this incredible bond with their fans that spans decades and continents. And that bond was on full display that night in Auckland. Section 5. From Mosh Pit to Melody, the energy of Pearl Jam. The energy in the stadium was incredible all night long. It was a roller coaster ride of emotions. One minute you'd be jumping up and down, singing your heart out. The next you'd be swaying along to a ballad, tears in your eyes. During the faster songs, the mosh pit was going crazy. It was a sea of bodies, all moving and grooving to the music. But it was a friendly mosh pit, you know? Everyone was looking out for each other. It was all about letting loose and having fun. And then there were the quiet moments. When Eddie would sit down at the piano and play a song like Just Breathe, the entire stadium would fall silent. You could hear a pin drop. Everyone was hanging on his every word, every note. It was magical. Pearl Jam's music is so powerful because it speaks to so many different emotions. It's raw, it's honest, and it's real. And that's what connects with people. Section 6. Elderly Woman and Other Tales from the Heart One of the most touching moments of the night was when they played Elderly Woman behind the counter in a small town. The crowd was completely captivated, hanging on every word and note. It's such a beautiful and heartbreaking song. The lyrics tell a story that many can relate to, evoking a sense of nostalgia and longing. And Eddie sang it with so much emotion. You could see the passion in his eyes and hear the depth of feeling in his voice. You could tell it meant a lot to him. His connection with the song was palpable, and it resonated with everyone in the audience. Before they started playing, he told a story about how he wrote the song. He shared a personal moment that added even more depth to the performance. He was feeling lost and alone at the time. The pressures of fame and the constant touring had taken a toll on him. He had been on the road for a long time. The endless travel and the distance from loved ones were weighing heavily on his heart. He was missing his family and friends. The isolation of the road can be incredibly challenging, even for the most seasoned musicians. And he walked into this little store. It was a small, unassuming place, but it held a special significance for him. And there was this elderly woman working behind the counter. She seemed to embody the spirit of the town with a warmth and kindness that was immediately apparent, and she just smiled at him. It was a simple gesture, but it meant the world to him in that moment, and in that moment he felt seen, he felt understood. It was a fleeting connection, but it left a lasting impact on him. It's amazing how a simple encounter like that can inspire a song. The beauty of music is that it can capture and convey such profound emotions and it's a testament to the power of music to connect with people on a deep level. The audience felt that connection, singing along with every word. That's what Pearl Jam does so well. They create moments that bring people together, transcending the barriers of time and space. They tell stories that resonate with people. Their songs are like windows into the human experience, reflecting our own lives and emotions. They sing about real life, about the joys and sorrows, the struggles and triumphs that we all experience. Their music is a mirror, showing us our own reflections. And that's what makes their music so timeless and enduring. It's a celebration of life in all its complexity, and it continues to touch hearts around the world. Section 7. Just Breathe, a moment of collective serenity. Just Breathe was another highlight of the night, a song that resonated deeply with everyone present. It's such a beautiful and poignant song, filled with raw emotion and heartfelt lyrics. And in the context of the concert, it took on even more meaning, creating a powerful connection between the band and the audience. The world can feel so chaotic and overwhelming sometimes with the constant noise and rush of daily life. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, losing sight of what truly matters. But Just Breathe reminds us to slow down, to appreciate the little things, to be present in the moment, and to find peace amidst the chaos. As Eddie sang the words, Just breathe, you're going to be okay. It felt like a collective sigh of relief washed over the stadium, a moment of shared understanding. It was a moment of shared peace and tranquility, a rare and precious experience in today's fast-paced world. It was a reminder that we're all in this together, that we can find solace in each other's company, and that sometimes all we need to do is just breathe, to take a step back and find our center. The song ended, and there was a moment